Hi, my name is DJ Zintle. I'm a mom, I'm a businesswoman, a DJ, and now I'm the CEO of Boulevard Rosé. We are ready to take over the market. We better watch out. <laughs> I've had so many emotions. I've, I've been anxious, I've been happy, I've been uh, excited. Um, but I think just generally, I just, I'm in disbelief, you know? Um, so, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> so I love to celebrate. I love um, being, whether it's at my house, whether it's at uh, a gig. Just celebrations have also been part of my life for the past 16, 16 years as a DJ. I've been at clubs, at weddings, all kinds of celebrations. And um, a, a, a sparkling wine like Boulevard fits very perfectly into that. Um, and I just thought, I want to be part of people's celebrations even more, but with Boulevard. So this just made sense. It's not. It's nothing that is off brand. It's definitely on brand. It makes sense for me to be part of a product like this, especially for the type of career that I, I do and for the type of things that I like. My house has a party almost every week. So now we have a drink, we're ready. <laughs> instantly i remember when they walked in with their branding i loved the branding i loved the bottle i loved even the taste when they eventually tasted the product and i thought oh my gosh this is such a beautiful product the conversation just evolved to equity eventually because it started as an ambassadorship type of conversation but eventually it evolved to an equity um uh conversation and luckily the people that we're working with were people that are also just amazing to work with so it, it worked out in the end but it was a a tough and long process. Yeah, it's been difficult because um, now you just have to evolve. You know, you have to find new ways to to make money or to like stay consistent or to run the business the way you wanted to in the new environment that you've now found yourself in. But I have a very strong team. I have a very dedicated team that shares the same values that I have. They, they think ahead. They are. They pay attention to detail. They have strong values uh, that, uh, like they, they, they are hard workers. So without my team, I don't think I would have made it this far. Even with lockdown and every, like my biggest mission was to make sure that no one leaves the team, no one gets fired, no one is dismissed. Because now, because my team is so perfect and they're so dedicated. So that has helped a lot. And um, I have a lot of in my team. I have a lot of young people that I work with. And that has one of been my strongest points also because they know what's going on, uh, you know, on, on the streets. They are ahead of, they know about the trends. They know what's new, what's popping. So I have a very, very good team that just knows how to evolve and how to think of new ideas. So I'm lucky. <laughs> I studied marketing um, at UJ. I graduated in 2004. Then I went to work at Clarence, um, uh, the skincare um, uh, brand. And I th that's when my passion for what marketing and branding does started. It was fascinating to see all these ads on TV as a kid and all these things, but I didn't understand what the push was behind all these things. And I just thought they were natural just to see an ad on TV. But when I, start, when I studied it and I understood that these things are curated, it got me so excited. Um, I just fell in love with it. So when I actually could practice it at, um, at uh, Clarence, and I was dismal, I was horrible, I was terrible, I was terrible. Definitely the Forbes Awards was one of those moments for me because I definitely th never thought I'd ever qualify, you know? And then um, I've had perfect moments, especially in music, like with the songs like Umlilo, songs like Colors, uh, My Name Is. Um, so just, I think because I'm a musician and a creative, just seeing people respond to the music that you make is a feeling that I could never describe. But over and above that, just like I've enjoyed so many successes and it's always so hard for me to point, pinpoint 
one thing that is just like standing out but i think it actually did a lot for my confidence when i was voted africa's number one dj two years in a row that was not um, I mean, africa's number one female dj two years in a row that was wild that had that worked out so um i've had so many moments man but mostly music and in business it's nice to create a product um like europe like djs in or even boulevard and then see people who uh, respond to it and make it their own so 16 years is a long time but there's been a lot of moments yeah.